Well, hello there, everybody. Trey here, and welcome back to the totally normal game that is Barn Finders. Today, we're going to be checking out the brand new DLC called Bid Wars, which is a whole new island to explore, also a theme park, uh, kind of over the top, but that's kind of what's to be expected with Barn Finders. And yes, if you've never seen this game before, you're in for a trip. Literally. So yeah, this is a game we played on the channel quite a bit, actually, and uh, I'm super excited to get back out into it. This was supposed to be released, I think, late last year, and uh, it got pushed back to now, so I'm super excited to see what they've been up to. And it's good to see Uncle Billy once again. He has some freaky stuff to show me. You don't say. This island is kind of insane. I also love that I came in on my truck still. Can never get the hillbilly out of me, clearly. Also, why is, like, half the stuff cardboard? I feel like this whole place is a lie. Very much could be, just judging by that sign over there. Or whatever the hell that would be. A giant poster. All right, well, shocking. Uncle Billy's at the bar, so we have to meet him there for the start. Is that him there? Is that Uncle Billy? Uncle Billy, is that you? What are you doing in the picture? I don't think I can get in a picture, so that's probably not where he actually is. Uh, as per usual in this game, I am going to destroy lots of things because that's how you get money and materials to repair things. All right, but yeah, let's go find Uncle Billy for the time being and see what this place is all about because right now, this looks like a prison more than anything else. I'm like trapped in this small area here. Rocket dimension? What? The, or pocket dimension? What the hell's pocket dimension? Ah, stinky tuna. That's definitely a bar. There's the big guy. What's up, Billy? Uh, I owe you one, young, and pick something from the menu. Chill out with the text. I don't even have time to read. So he wanted me to pick something from this menu, I'm assuming. Um, well, everything is out of stock except sunshine. So I guess we're having sunshine. Don't you get used to that, young, and next round's on me. All right. Or on, yeah, me, not him. What the hell is going on? Oh, that's the bartender. Great. Well, little dizzy, and bartender just exploded. So that's a good sign, right? I think I just passed out. Great. The hell is that? <laughs> I'm already confused in this game. Wait, Billy, why are you freaking cardboard now? All right, so uh, cardboard Billy said something is outside, so wants me to go back. What just? What did I just drink? Is he gonna be cardboard this whole time now? <laughs> All right, what's going on outside? Oh my god, is that is that a cargo container? Rocket ship? <laughs> This is exactly what I expected in Barn Finders. <laughs> God. So is that how we get our containers in? We bid on things that get rocketed in? Also, wh wh where did the guy go that was on top? Rent a stand. Okay, so this is probably how I sell things here. I don't know if we go back to our old shop or if we stay here. All right, so we're supposed to bid on this. Try to win auction. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy. It said 400 to 1200, I believe. I hope it lets us look inside when we're actually bidding. I'm assuming this is still very much a tutorial. Why is everything cardboard? This is freaking me out now. Okay, we're already at 350. Great. Lady Dragon bidding like crazy again. I remember she was always the one that was a jerk to me. Also, the alien's a little bit of a jerk as well. I got $9,000, so let's bid 200. Let's bid aggressively and see if we can win this right away with my first bid. That's right. Don't screw with Uncle Billy. I guess Billy was bidding, not me. All right, and is that is that the time of day? Our our time of day indicator is the drink thing. Okay, so I'm assuming I can take those drinks to change the time of day. Anyways, let's see what we got here. We got some crafting materials. Um, moonshine monolith. That might be worth a little bit. 420, nice. All right, so we'll mark everything for transport. I mean, we're going to sell everything anyways. We don't have anything to sell yet, so let's just do that. What is this? All right, I can't mark it for transport. Oh, it says move suitcase to bar. Okay, so we got to move that. That's not for sale, I guess. That's probably something Uncle wanted or something. What is Is this a bomb? There's, like, wires on the outside. Oh, yeah, it does say job item. All right, so I just got to move this in here. Uncle, you can hardly see it because you're freaking cardboard. Is this what you wanted, Uncle? What do you mean, strange? I feel great. Okay, so what, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, it might go into the pocket dimension. What the hell is the pocket dimension? I just put a suitcase in a suitcase. Jump in? And now you want me to jump into the suitcase that ate my suitcase? I didn't think I'd ever say that in my life. What the hell? So this is a portal. I just have a suitcase portal. Great. Oh, my God. Where am I now? What? <laughs> I knew I'd be confused in this game. I didn't think it'd be this confused. Are we in space? It's like a fake space. There's walls. This whole game is a lie. Here's a shelf over there. I should probably pay attention to what the hell's going on. So, 
are are we are we not on an island are we in space now is this where all the game happens all right and it wants me to go to the terminal and collect something so let's just do this i'll take the pony 14. oh look at that now put it back you can make some money on the land put it back where do you want me to put it back on one of these pedestals oh yeah okay so wait i i know very little so far but is this like a marketplace for aliens is, is, is that what I'm getting at? I can sell things to the alien species. I mean, they already came to my shop and tried to buy things, but I'm assuming I can get more here. And I don't know what these things are, but I believe they're likely portals to different areas in the new DLC. I'm very confused though. So let's just head back through my suitcase portal back to the stinky tuna and get deeper into this so we can understand a little bit more because this is getting crazy already. All right, so now we need to rent one of these stands that we saw earlier. Uh, what's the difference? Like, the one's free. Oh, clientele. Okay, so obviously the more I pay, the more clients I get. Got it. Well, we got crap right now, so we're going to get the free one. And I guess we can just sell things here. So, yeah, I'm assuming everything happens on this island. We don't have to go back to our old market um, to sell all this stuff. All right, so we'll put the moonshine on. I mean, we got some decent money here. Nothing too crazy, but I think we de definitely profited because it was about 800 for it. Freaking 70? What is this? Oh, crap. I hit the wrong button and I sold it accidentally. I am I am not very good at this game, clearly. My bad. I'm just giving good prices to the first customer, you know? That's how you get return clientele. What's up, man? All right, 222. I, this is the guy that just hmms. Uh, we, I'm going to haggle him a bit. Oh, God, that's fast. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, dude, I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, let's do it. I can't angle again, so I guess I'm selling for 244. I just want to get rid of all this crap. $25? These are awful. No, I'm going to decline that. Screw that. This has to be worth a little more than that. Oh, I guess I, maybe I should have accepted that. Time goes fast in this game. It's already uh, late at night. You can find the rooms above the bar. Okay, so that's where I was saying. I was like, where do I sleep exactly? All right, not bad for a first day. We went to space. We bid on a thing and won. Hopefully tomorrow these things make more sense. That is horrifying. Why Why are the faces like that? Family vacuum clean? What was that? <laughs> it's more fun than television. Oh, I have missed the comedy of this game, man. All right. Uh, what do we got to do today? I guess what it, whatever the hell we want. All right. There's nothing to bid on. Uh, DLC Island time of day. Auctions will change during the day. Clients will come more often during early hours. Auctions are worth more later in the day. Drinks, auctions, crafting, and selling will progress the time of day. Okay, so... Auctions will change during the day. So what, where are the auctions? <laughs> All right. Well, at least we do know if we're setting up a stand, do it right at the start of day because clients come more often during the morning time. So I guess we should. Is we still have a free one? Yes, we got a free one. We may as well try and sell the rest of this crap. And hopefully we can figure out how to, you know, earn some more as well because that's kind of the next thing we have to do. <laughs> ah, this is what I wanted to sell. Please give me a good deal. 420 is exactly what I was supposed to get for it. Uh, I still, I'm still gonna haggle anyways. Done! I am a freaking master. I'm gonna haggle again. Oh, why is it slow now? I will gladly take that. And I'll plus 105. We are making bank! All right, that, that was really, really good. I'm gonna sell the rest of this stuff really quickly. Haggle, I may as well, because this guy's giving me three chances. Like how this guy wants to attack me every time I win a haggle. Oh, and I won them all. 300 bucks. All right, and we must have made money because we're now at 10 grand. So I'm going to sell the final of my items. Now I really got to figure out how the hell to get... Oh, God, it's already dusk. So I'm wondering if these potions change... Or potions, um, if these drinks change the time of day. Unfortunately, they're all out of stock now, except dusk shine. So I'm... No, oh, this advances the time of day then. Interesting. So it did mention that we get something different at different times of day. Uh, I just got to figure out how to get to the actual auctions. I'm assuming, is it back through the theme park? Is that where we go to earn things? This has to be it. What is this Jurassic Park entrance here? <laughs> Welcome to Barn Finders. Enter the gate. Auctions are waiting. Okay, I did find the right way. That was a cool entrance. I'm feeling pretty epic right now. <laughs> Why is everything just fake? I love it. The whole art style. This is great. Miko Moon Station. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm so into this. <laughs> Abandon all money, ye who enter here. All right, I'll spend some money. I don't care. Um, okay, each of the zones has some unique items. Each zone will appear once a day. Spend bitcoins to open new zones. So does this change every time I come back? Like, is this going to be a whole different neighborhood then? Also, it's all fake. Like, look at that. What the hell is this? Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. 
Oh, just a totally normal UFO crash with a dog pooping with shoes on. Yep. This is a this is a totally normal game. Okay, so I'm thinking these are the things I need to buy then. We have more things we can go into, but yes. Okay, so I need 300 bitcoins to buy that. I'm getting that now, how to unlock these things. I just need to learn how to actually bid. Can I open this? Okay, usable object. <gasps> Finally found something I can bid on. Okay. So this is the red barn. Will this change sometimes? Maybe. I don't know. We've only been here once, so let's find out. Um, I guess I got to go up here <laughs> to bid? Bid against others. Highest bid wins. Try not to overpay. Yeah, that's kind of the point of a game like this. Thanks for letting me know, though. Um, hold to begin auction. So 820 to 200, 2,200. I wish we could see inside. I expected to be able to, you know, peer in. You just kind of have to blind guess. At least we know how much it goes up to. And I don't know what I want to bid. I mean, obviously, I like to bid less than 800, preferably, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, yeah, we're literally just bidding on storage containers. I'm, I'm cool with this, actually, though. 625, I'm going to go hard with 200. Oh, I got a nemesis? I don't care. Oh, you guys, I really want to win something. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. 1,100. Hopefully, I don't regret this. Ugh! I think I'm just going to let it go. I can either be salty or take the L with pride. I'm going to be salty about it, damn it. And it's nighttime. Well, that was a fail. Maybe I should have bid more on that. I don't know. It's hard to gauge. I mean, it says it only went up to 2,200. So I didn't want to bid anymore because I wouldn't have made no money unless there, it is worth more. All right. So I guess we need to leave now and um, go back. So that was a bit of a fail. All right. Today is the day we are going to win at least one thing. And at least the benefit being is we don't have to sell anything because we didn't earn anything yesterday. So we probably have multiple chances to bid since it gives us like three a day because there's morning midday and evening okay so there's one down here this is a very cheap crate hopefully we don't go too crazy it does say the type of crate as well so there is light information i was really hoping you could at least peer in though all right i'm gonna go with the starting bid at uh 100 or sorry 50 i think i did wait i did 200 okay i guess i did 200. uh you know what i i i need to win something i need to win something today this is probably a loss Oh, you duke. I gotta win. Oh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not happy about this one. And yes, yeah, so once we win, win a bid, the time of day changes. I'm assuming there is another bid. What the hell? <gasps> what the hell? Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. All right, well, before we go into the next one, let's see these amazing items that we got. As you can see, yeah, I mean, I might have broken even. <laughs> the real money is going to be in here, though. Please? A freaking plant? <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. It's better than nothing. I was hoping for treasure or something. A car? That would have been so great. Is there any, like, invisible doors somewhere? That's actually kind of cool. I, I, I dig that one. All right, so I'm getting it now. All right, so let's go to Knuckles Barn. This is the third one. Uh, This one might be open right now because the other one wasn't. So do we have anything to bid on? And we do. Okay, this is cool. I like this. This These random bids. Oh, this is a quiz? Answer the questions about different items. Learn more about them from the pocket PC. The participant with the most right answers win. I don't like this. I don't know anything about the items in this damn game. This is a big difference though. 980 to 2610. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. I've never done this before. So hopefully we can win a quiz. Uh, which item does comes from this? What? Uh, oh God. Uh, oh, give me a chance. To, I don't even know where to click. Knuckles party. I'm going to say... A circular saw, maybe? Okay, it does show what they bid on as well. <laughs> okay, I got it right. That was a total guess, obviously. I don't know where any of these items come from. I don't like having to know things. We got a throwback theater, mage shift set, knuckles party. I, I'm just going to follow what these guys do. I feel like that is, that is the safe way to go. Well, not the safe way to go, clearly. So every mistake I get, I get a penalty where I have to bid more. I get it. Which item is the most expensive? Fat King Coin, Bech, or Jurassic Trophy? I got to go with the alien boy and say Jurassic Trophy. Actually, I'm regretting that decision. That thing looks awful. I'm thinking it's B. It's probably B. Never mind. I ignore me. I did it. Which item costs 280? Oh, God. Um, Not Frog Circus. That would be too much. Alpha Eye, way too much. I'm going to say Break Style for sure. Screw you guys with Frog Circus. That's worth way more. I, 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 I got to go with this guy. Okay. It was the TV. What? <laughs> God damn it. 
<laughs> okay, and I spent, I guess I won? I, I didn't even know I was bidding on it. I spent 900, 1961. I don't like the quizzes. I just want to bid. Oh, God. Okay, so this is all I got, but I see that that's locked. So I can probably unlock that. Well, I earned pretty much nothing so far. So let's unlock this. Oh, thank God I got my lock picking up. Okay, so that, that, and then that. Done. Um, that's not another storage container. What the hell? <laughs> can I break these? Oh my god, I can break in. Alright, well, not much in here, but hey. Every little bit counts. We're just getting a crap load of tires, clearly. And what's behind door number three? More tires. I am shocked. Where am I? There's an alien over there. What is that? Oh my god, that's a portal. How do I get there? I'm so intrigued. All right, so the alien was here. Yes, we got the portal. Uh, I don't know what this is about, but super happy that I saw that because portals are always fun. I'm just going to scrap everything I can. So it says this is a teleport to the pocket di dimension. So does this go back to space? It does. I don't really understand this. So I spawned in the other portal. Why is there a giant toilet over here? Why the frig is there a giant, giant toilet? Where? What? Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> so this is where I disassemble? <laughs> Wait. What am I doing? I want to go in. All right, so yeah, I can disassemble things if I want to here and get materials instead. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh. So the toilet disassembles? That's freaking magical. Do they come out here or do I have to go back up? Whoa! That was a lot for six pieces of wood, but I like it. Now, can I get... It? Okay, yep, there they are. Got it! So, if I don't want to sell, I d disassemble here. Alright, so there's more to this. We got recipe lists. I don't really know... So, I need yellow guts, Shirley Love, Roy Daver chair. So, I can make things that are worth more money, I'm assuming. Encyclopedia. This shows where all the items are. Might want to look at that if I want to do well with the quests. Then we got bounties, where people will pay extra money for certain items. I wonder if I can make the um, tire thing. All right, so put particular items in the shower cabin or use the recipes. When ready, confirm the crafting in the middle of the room. Okay, I think I got it. I think I understand now. All right, so yeah, I need three more of these levy bands, and we should be good. Can I spawn them in here? It's kind of weird that I have to run all the way over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. We have an uh, item terminal here. Now, I know I have a bunch of these. So, yeah, we're going to spawn in three more. And assuming I did this correctly, I still need wood and everything, but I might be able to just... Yes, okay, perfect. So, I, it still has the cost down here. Okay, so, yeah, I, I have to go to the middle and then hold to craft. And that took all day, but that's fine because this is a bounty item, which is why I wanted to do it. Did it work? Oh, it's right here. Yes! All right, so now I can put it on the shelf. Anyone that's open. Oops, come on. Get on there. There. And if I did this correctly, we should be able to sell the bounty. And there we go. That was that was the process, man. But we got $550. Hope it was worth it. All right, spent a lot of money on another one. Um, whew, Hardy Dusk. Wow. Hopefully, I, I think I'm doing this wrong, man. I am struggling. I mean, I earned a bit of money today, but... I'm basically breaking even. I think I'm going to have to refine more. I think crafting is going to play a big role in this update. <gasps> oh, I got the um the giraffe the Jurassic trophy. Uh that's worth 850. Okay, that's half of my investment right there. Ooh, we got $48. I mean, that's not that great, but I'll take it. What I hate is I only get to bid on one to two items a day, so I really want to win one, and that makes me spend way too much money. At least we get more lockers with this bidding. And again, these lockers are just sad. We got another trophy, though. There we go. 1600 bucks. We are profiting now, guaranteed. Ooh, this is a much bigger lock than usual. This gets me excited, because usually they're one, two, three, or sorry, three to four pins. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be excited. How much is this worth? 580? That's not bad, actually. I'll, I'll take it. We also got whatever this is. Ah, the family vacuum cleaner. That's a weird thing to say. And, oh, I didn't expect the mighty hand to be 300. Okay, we definitely earned some money here, so I don't have to worry as much about bidding on these things. 
Also with that, I've earned 300 Bitcoin, so that will allow me to unlock whatever that other area is, which is why I wanted to bid so much today, because I did see that when we earn lockers, we get Bitcoins as well. So I believe, yeah, it's this one we can buy tomorrow. I'm going to buy that and see what that unlocks. All right, making good money today with these Jurassic trophies. This is fantastic. This is some serious money. So yeah, really glad I invested into that locker because now we're back to $9,000. And I still have a bunch of them in the, in the inventory as well. And that pushed us over to nighttime. Okay, well, good sales. $9,000 tomorrow. I got to spend 1000 of that for the adventure room, whatever it was called. So hopefully we get something good there. All right, and hopefully adventure awaits at the adventure zone because this is all my Bitcoins. What? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it gave me a sad face. Find my missing friends from the merry-go-round and have fun with the potta potty party. Potta potty party. That's hard to say. Okay, so I need to find these missing guys to finish that. So yeah, this is kind of like OG barn finders where you have to like look around for items, I'm thinking. And that's kind of what these things are, which is kind of cool. It's fun to do. All right, so exploring around. I mean, there's a lot of loot here, but I didn't find much else. There was an auction that I didn't win. So that might be the main reason you unlock this. We got to find the carnival rides, though. I don't... I thought they would just be around. It might be the fact that I have to craft them. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, we do have a bid here now, too, because it's later in the day. So let's see if we can maybe win this one. Oh, this is a much bigger one, too. Okay, so the other one... Went up to 800, and uh, the bids were at 650, so I didn't want to bid on that one. But this one... I might just do just to win. Oh, this is a f oh, cheap plan. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Hey. What? Okay. I think I got it. How much money does fertility mass cost? Oh, God. I don't know. 200 seems fair. I'm going to go for 200. Screw those guys saying 800. <laughs> oh, perfect run. I, I know what I'm doing. I am a bid master. That was, that was really great. I only spent 1400. And it's dusk, but that's okay. Because we, we got to win. This doesn't feel like a win. <laughs> There's not even a way to get out of this one. Oh, God. These things better be worth a fortune. All right. God damn it. God damn it. Did I lose money getting a perfect quiz? Well, now I'm mad. This was the worst investment ever. I should have just stayed at the other place. This place hates me. What that? So I think it's random if you get access to the other crates or not. Oh, I found one. Okay. Okay. Obviously, that's it. I didn't realize that was... Something I could actually use. Ooh, Spirit's Cave. What the hell is this? Good thing I looked around again. I didn't even see this before. Oh, <gasps> secret bidding area. How much is this one worth? Oh, these are going right into the wall. What was that? Oh, I accidentally clicked the button. Okay, this is definitely the biggest bid yet. Guess the value of the container. Oh, God. Um. Okay, I'm going to say 2,221 bet calculating results lower much higher much lower much higher i have i'm i'm the closest okay um i'm gonna do 2091 and i need to go slightly lower okay oh this is cool i like this let's go 2031 i don't know what these guys are bidding these guys are insane slightly lower again damn it okay so let's go for the walmart pricing strategy 1995. Slightly higher. God damn it. It's going to be 2000 then. All right. 2005. Come on. Come on. 2005. Slightly higher again. I forget what my lowest was before. Regardless, I got it for 2005. Okay. It's nighttime. I, I don't even notice I'm bidding when I do that. I'm just so excited to win. And again, this looks like a freaking failure. Oh my God. Okay. Um... 25. There's nothing over 100. There we go. Jurassic Trophy. I didn't even see there. Uh, we got the thing again. The Mighty Hand. That's worth 300. So, oh, I thought that'd be worth more. Oh, why? I'm so bad at this game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just realized that is an access point to another container. So I think we did okay again. Assuming there's something of use in here. Oh, my God. 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 Okay. So how do I... Okay. I was like, how do I get inside? I guess we just go right in once we break that. Okay, again, not getting a lot in these containers, but if you get four of them for one, then it's fantastic. All right, today we're definitely going to put up a pretty big sell, only because I have a lot of items to sell. So I'm going to take a risk, do the 450 fancy pants stand, because, yeah, we have 
a lot of big ticket items and I want to get them out of my inventory as quickly as possible. Okay, and after selling pretty much all my big ticket items, we are well over $10,000. Oh, come on. Last one was perfect. I still didn't get more. That's fine, though. All right, we're still going. We're just selling some lower tiered items now. So we did profit today or throughout this whole episode. And there we go. We're at, I think, $11,000 almost. All right, guys. Well, I think it's a good time to wrap up this episode here. Obviously, this is uh, very similar to the ordinary barn finders. It's just weird and wonky. Uh, I would like to go deeper into it, though. Maybe we can uh, finish the carousel here and see what this unlocks. We have that other zone we have to open up. That other zone... I think there's two different zones that we have to open up, if I remember correctly. And yeah, there's still so much more to explore here. Uh, we did the very basic bidding today, but I think if the deeper we go, the crazier the bids get. Uh, so yeah, nothing too interesting today in terms of uh, what we won. But a very interesting area to explore, that's for sure. And I hope you guys enjoy checking out Barn Finders once again. Let me know if you want to see more. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.